Thanks for staying with us right here on uh, Sunrise as uh, we continue this morning. Well, uh, we're taking a moment to reflect on the life of a man who's committed himself to saving this, saving this nation. The longest serving statistician general in the country's history since the demise of apartheid retired last month after 34 years within the organization, of which 17 years were as the Statistics uh, South Africa. Now, Padilio Hosha has officially stepped down. And this morning, he's here on Sunrise, of course, to talk to us uh, about who he is and what he's planning to do uh, after all of this. If you want to uh, to share your thoughts on uh, his journey with us, you can uh, give us a call on 011-447-1742, 011-447-1620. Your comments are also welcome on our Facebook and Twitter page. Uh, good morning to you, sir, and thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, good morning. Pensioners don't have to wake up this <laughs> early. <laughs> Pensioners don't have to wake up this early. Yeah, okay, no. so so you said to me this morning that you finally get to see this, the sunrise, not just sunrise the show. Yeah. Well, it <laughs> is a pan for sunrise and sunrise and show. Sunrise, 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 sunrise. sunrise, we've got the time to see that and yeah. see midday and uh, certainly see it set and say, oh, it actually happens. <laughs> so you're someone who's full of energy. I doubt that, you know, you're just like sitting there and like watching the sunrise until sunset. There must be something that you're up to. Uh, not yet. Um, I'm still absorbing uh, my exit uh, mm -hmm. from Stats SA, mm. uh, which has been uh, full of, uh, you know, lots of interviews as I exited. So I have not slowed down you at not, all. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I think I need to slow down. And in fact, uh, on Saturday, I'll be going to different uh, places globally uh, where we'll be discussing these matters of statistics. So slow down is impossible, mm. unfortunately. So you still continue to work. Mm. I mean, uh, I mean, it must be a lot of like congratulatory messages as well, uh, wherever you've been for firstly, your dedication and the time uh, that you've given uh, to, you know, to this country in your work. Did you see yourself uh, doing this for as long as you have? Uh, well, um, I would say that uh, when I started in Bukhtatswana then I, uh, I and took uh, the, on the role, uh, asked the question, what will be post-apartheid statistics be like in South Africa? Mm. Uh, I, I suppose I then took upon myself a task that I had to finish. Uh, and I think uh, reflecting on 91 when I, we said, now this is the task that we have to take. Uh, and now 2017, when I stepped down as the head of the organization, mm. I should say, yes, the, the task was well achieved. Mm. Yes. No, because I mean, I, I'm just thinking of myself, I had never heard of a statistics general <laughs> before. <laughs> and then slowly but surely uh, comes this man uh, who's, who's vibrant, who's full of life with a yellow suit. Well, well, I've put on blue shoes today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> put on blue shoes today. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, and, and I mean, I'm, and and that's a, I think that's a, in terms of like the boosting the profile of the office of the uh, statistician general and just getting the country to also understand what the work o of what that office represent. It's it's really been a big task to, to to do that. How did you guys go about doing that? Well, I mean, I, one of the things that uh, we were blessed with, we were very lucky uh, we, we, to have somebody, a minister who was very clear around what is communication, not communication for, you know, uh, spin, but mm. uh, what is the content, uh, what is the message, mm. and how do you want to craft this message so that uh, it is beneficial. Uh, uh, and in Trevor Manuel, this is what we found. Mm. Uh, he pushed us quite hard. Uh, and of course, I, I'm a, an extrovert myself. Mm. Uh, so uh, it, it helped a lot uh, to ensure that uh, we realize that the message reaches the masses, the people. Mm. Uh, when I was in Bupitazwana, one of the tasks we had, which was very interesting and remains very uh, much in my mind, mm. was that in 1987, there was a plan, or 86, there was a plan to try and create a bus stops in the sec in the in the square in Mafike, mm. uh, and these people we presented the numbers to them. Mm. Uh, they doubled the size of the of the of the of the of the square mm. with buses. Uh, in another two months, they had to half that. Mm. And I said, I told you that, that these this numbers the, these are, are not yeah. the numbers. It's yeah. only now that uh, 10, 15 years later that they could reach. Uh, that kind of capacity mm. uh, to, to, to create more buses in that square mm. uh, in Mafike. Mm. So uh, I've always been very, very clear mm. around the use of numbers, uh, why they should be used, how they are produced, mm. and to what uh, end they should be. So I carried that message into uh, the national government uh, 
uh, once I came in in 95. Uh, and of course, as the statistician general, I had to take it upon myself to ensure that people at least are aware that there's something called statistics. Yes. We can be able to pronounce it uh, at the least. Um, and uh, what I'm worried about is that uh, it's not being used. Okay. So that is a very, very serious so problem. We'll, we'll get to that. Okay, so we're taking your calls as well this morning. If you want to engage with the, uh, the former statistician general, Dr. Padilio Show, is joining us this morning on 011-447-1742 or 11 1620 uh, That is uh, the, the number for you to, to call. Okay, so let's talk about how those you feel that those numbers are not be, being used and how that is costing us uh, as, an, as a nation thus far. Yes, I mean, uh, you see... It, uh, the, the the reasons go both ways. They go to me, they go to the public, they go to uh, government planners. Mm. Uh, they, 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 they are all over the map. Uh, at the heart of it is the skill level mm. to plan. That's where the problem is. Mm. Because planning creates particular demand for use of evidence mm. and data. And when we don't have a planning system like we, ha we don't have in South Africa, it limits the possibilities of using statistics. Mm. Uh, let me hasten to say that the National Development Plan is a good start, mm. but it's a vision. It's something that says by such and such a time we'll do. Now mm. you need the baby steps mm. to say how are you going to achieve that. Mm. For that you need very, very hard critical evidence and you need a dedicated team of people that uh, inquire into the veracity of the, how, 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 how deliverable mm. are these things that we intend demonstrate mm. by modeling, by showing that uh, there is confidence in what we intend doing. Mm. Uh, there is no system that does that. Mm. And I think uh, that's a, a great disservice to the country. Uh, and that's why I'm saying the numbers are not used and it's particularly capacity to interpret them, yeah. capacity to deal with diagnostics around them, uh, capacity to, to, to just predict uh, using, using the, the yeah. numbers and then of course capacity to to, to plan uh, 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 to prescribe uh, through a planning process uh, the, the contract ended uh, I didn't resign I uh. mean, uh, in government you get a contract and of course mine had run for 17 years mm. uh, longest serving uh, director general longest serving statistician general I think it mm. was time I had to uh, to, to move on mm. uh, as the contract uh, ended. I would have probably liked to do more. I mean, Obama says, well, uh, you know, uh, uh, if I was uh, to be elected, I would have been doing a pretty good job, and I'm sure I would be elected again. Mm. I suppose I'm in that kind of space where I could have continued, but uh, I think uh, it was time to, to move on. Mm. Uh, what do I intend to do? Uh, the, the, the particular issue that I'm raising of utilization of the data, mm. Uh, which is a, is a problem in South Africa. Not only in South Africa, in the continent of Africa. Uh, governments don't use data. They look the other way. They look for other things mm. uh, uh, or other sources of evidence that are easier to deal with. Mm. Uh, I think we need to, 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 to crack this hard issue in South Africa. Mm. Uh, and uh, I think that's where I see myself playing a critical role mm. in ensuring that uh, data are visible, they are used. Particularly, we need to build for the future. Uh, the, 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 the future generations, the children at schools, mm, mm. they have to understand their environments, their surroundings. Mm. And Statistics South Africa and the new statistician general will be continuing to produce these numbers, mm. uh, such as census numbers, previous censuses. They must be in the public domain such that people can digest them. They are in the public domain, but the public doesn't know how to access them, how, to, it, access the, how yeah. to use them, mm. and we need to attack and attend to schools in relation to this mm. so that assignments, homeworks are done using uh, this data so mm. that people can account. So hold. that they're already informed of like, you know, the status of, of the country and how they can plan for the future as future uh, contributors. Oh, to oh yes. Uh, uh, and uh, people who can hold our politics to yes. account yes. because this is their future. It's not uh, our future. We are uh, 60 years uh, and so on. Uh, but those people who are six years and old must shape uh, their own They're future both. and it is in this evidence that they okay. have to dig into uh, yes I, I think uh, one of the things that uh, people at young age must know is their surroundings mm. and uh, th from the census data this explains those surroundings mm. not much use is uh, placed in schools around this mm. uh, what we have to do is to package this data and ensure that it relates to the specific wards in which they live mm. 
and you can work this backwards uh, for them to understand what has been happening forwards to think about what might happen mm. and therefore to influence the way they deal with this. Mm. It's very important that the school system points children to these data sets that Stats SA has and other data sets that are available mm. in order to ensure that uh, they get grounded in evidence right from uh, the beginning. Mm. Uh, I, I mean, it's nice to have opinions, but uh, at least ground your opinions right, on, with the that evidence, information, yeah. on the evidence and yeah. the information that is there. That will then create the demand of, for citizens to guard jealously uh, the numbers that are generated. Okay. Yes, yeah. So, so in, 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 in terms, I guess, also what it, you know, people are driving to is, so you're not in that office, but you have this, uh, this skill set, this information and this influence and so much that you, you, you can do. And I'm sure there, there are other young statisticians who are looking up to you, who, are my, you know, who might be following in, in your footstep. How are you making sure that together with those uh, you know, young statisticians, we can continue uh, on the, on on the legacy of, uh, of, of Dr. I Lee. mean, I can't produce statistics. There is an office that yeah. produces the statistics. Mm. What one has to do is to ensure that uh, these numbers are consumed, creating mm. the appetite uh, for their consumption. Mm. Uh, and of course, we started a young African statisticians movement, mm. uh, which is uh, actually looking at avenues uh, such as the one I'm talking about. Uh, and th th these are not things that are difficult. I think mobile platforms already exist uh, that. Uh, require one to make this more exciting. Mm. There are 27,000 schools. Mm. Yes, of course, would I like, uh, do I, it's impossible to go to 27,000 schools. And mm. uh, you need to think about mobile platforms to make these numbers visible and use data. Of course, uh, the, the, the hashtag data must fall because it's very, <laughs> it's very, it's very expensive, it's very expensive. Uh, to, to get these yeah. bundles. We, okay. we need to crack that as yeah. well to ensure that uh, this is accessible. Uh, yes. But uh, it's also, it's, it's done in a way that it promotes and ensures that people can use evidence okay. in their decisions. Well, we have to wrap it up, unfortunately. Mm. And then uh, your message to, to, to South Africans, to Sunrise viewers, uh, as you know, fr from you as you, you, you exit the South oh, oh, well, I think uh, th this was a privileged position. Mm. Uh, and uh, one had to ensure that you do your task to the best of your ability mm. okay. and uh, push the message through without fear or favor. Well, great stuff. Thank you yes. so much for your service to us and for being an inspiration, I'm sure, to another generation of statisticians we're going to continue the work uh, and the foundation that you have.